Hello and welcome to The Puff Mommy. This is a channel where I use my 30 years of practical, hands-on experience of owning, loving, and caring for a brood of dogs to help the first-time dog owner, maybe even the wannabe dog owner, and yes, sometimes even the experienced dog owner. Now, with spring finally here, some of us can sum up that season in one word, and that word is allergies. And those allergies affect not only the humans, but they affect our pups as well. And you're going to know it because you're going to have a pup that's licking, chewing, itching, scratching, shaking its head from all different kinds of irritations and infections. But what you have to watch out, though, very carefully is that your dog doesn't take that skin irritation and rash and lick it into an open sore and gaping wound because sometimes dogs will do that. But before you even try and figure out what can I do to solve this itching and the scratching, think about it from a prevention point of view. You know, make sure that your dog has that adequate flea and flea and tick prevention. And sometimes even in certain areas of the country, you're going to need the heartworm prevention as well. Now, some of these preventions are topical, uh, like uh, canine Invantix, and others of them are, <laughs> are chewable tablets like the Nexgard or the Brevecto or the Simperica. Uh, I got a little guy here who wants to be in the movies. No, <laughs> the camera is that way, thumpy. There you go, that's my thumper. Um, other things that you can do also to help prevent the skin irritations and rashes and hot spots is also give your dog a good brushing. Um, you know, brushing really helps the dog. Um, it gets the skin oils moving, it, it, you know, it makes the coat nice and shiny, but more importantly too, it gets all of the, you know, some of the dust and the dirt and the debris and everything else that dogs' coats pick up and that you don't want in your house. <laughs> For, with four dogs, I can tell you, it's, it's a constant battle here anyway. Um, the other thing too is what I do with my pups after they come inside, sometimes I just like to wipe them down as well. Wipe the paws, wipe, wipe, them, wipe them, you know, just kind of with a damp cloth. And that also helps to try and keep down some of that little dirt and dandruff that you, again, you don't want on your furniture or your, your anywhere else in your house because you're going to be breathing it in, aren't you? Uh, but anyway, what happens though if you do have um, you know, a, a rash and a skin irritation and a hot spot on your dog, which they can they can come uh, and they can be anywhere on your dog. They can be anywhere the dog can reach. It could be on the hind leg, it could be on the paw, it could be on the underside. Uh, you know, they just occur. Uh, yes, again, wherever the little dog is itching and wherever the dog can lick. No, lipstick is not for you, it's only for me. Thank you. Um, now, one thing to consider also is that, you know, there are different types of skin irritations and rashes. Some of them are caused by, again, seasonal dust and dirt and all pollen, anything else that's in the air. But there are also allergies that can be micro, uh, by, I, mean, I should say, parasitic, uh, fungal, and you have to watch those very carefully because those can develop into something really nasty like mange and you don't want that for your dog. It's, it's, it's something that's very painful and it's also something that could cost you and end up costing you hundreds of dollars trying to cure. Another point to consider is that not all allergies are environmental or they're parasitic. Some of those uh, allergies that your dog is struggling with can be diet related as well. If you happen to have a, a dog diet that is heavy in chicken, uh, or like chicken is one of the first ingredients on the back of the on the back of the box or on the back of the bag, um, change that diet to um, something that is a unique protein to your dog, and that can be anything like bison, salmon, duck lamb, um, something that is non-chicken related. Now, what can you do if your dog does have these hot spots and rashes? Well, some people sometimes like to, to home remedies, and there are any number of home remedies that you can try. Uh, sometimes there's a dilution of apple cider vinegar and uh, water, and a lot of people use those for the typical ear infections. If you happen to like this particular product, it's called Veteracin. Um, my girlfriend who owns horses, uh, she turned me on to it because she uses it for her horses and dogs. Uh, this is, I, I'm almost out of it by the way, uh, you, so you can tell that I use it. You can spray this on the dog anywhere. Uh, it is non-stain, non-sting, 
and it's not going to come off on your furniture or anything like that. It, it's just, it, it, it's one of these products that I have found really works. Um, another thing that you can also, oh yes, I love you too. Oh yes. Um, another thing that you can do also is once you get the ointment or the topical cream or whatever you're spraying on your dog, you have to keep them from licking, don't you? Yeah, so that's where sometimes that cone of shame comes in. Um, you know, if, if your dog is anything like mine, <laughs> that cone of shame is going to come off in five minutes. I have a devil of a time trying to keep it on them, but it, it, if necessary, um, then, then do it. Um, the other thing I use also is these are what I call puppy bumpers. Now, I've initially used them on my small pups to keep them from going through fences. This is a foam product, and you attach it, as you can see here, you attach it through the collar. Now, um, I have heard of some people using these inflatable type uh, little rings. Um, I haven't used them myself, but um, this actually will work. Um, and you can, it has more than one use, let's say. Um, another thing that I have also found is that sometimes, if you know, depending on where the irritation is located, if, you have, if it's on the paw or it's on the leg, um, sometimes those are easier to take care of than if it's on any other part of the body. Because then what you can do is apply your cream or your topical spray or whatever that it is that you're using, and then you can actually wrap the area with a um, telfa pad. I've used a gauze telfa pad, and then I've put on, um, you know, other gauze tape and medical tape. And, you know, then you put a baby sock over it. And um, I've used, I've done that with Olympia, who uh, licked a wound in her paw. And, uh, you know, it, it's great when she's in within visible eyesight of you. But the moment you come down the next morning, that sock and everything else is gone. So you have to keep in mind that, you know, you may have to keep applying and reapplying and reapplying when you're dealing with, you know, little finicky pets. Now, one last point that I, one other point that I will make too is when you are dealing with hot spots, sometimes they're not allergy related. They are not uh, environmental related. Sometimes they are indicative of problems that are far more serious. And um, I had Olympia lick a hot spot in her left hind leg. Little did I know that I was going to end up with a $4,000 surgery bill because it turns out that uh, when I took her to the vet, an MRI was done. Uh, I had to go to a neurologist. Uh, she had intervertebral disc disease, IDD, and that IDD was causing neurological problems and that was related to the hot spot licking. So always keep that in mind and never let a hot spot get out of hand without going to a vet. So, I want it, so skin irritations and rashes really are nothing to fool around with. Uh, don't let them get out of hand because actually they make your dog miserable. And if you're like me, when your dog's miserable, you're miserable as well. So if there are products or other home remedies that I haven't mentioned, and probably because I don't know about them, uh, please leave them uh, in your comments in the section below. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate it. And don't forget to click and subscribe. And um, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.